Today is January 31st. I'm Susanna, and this is Simon Says. Happy Year of Tiger! What is your animal year? I am in Year of Pig. Do you celebrate the lunar year here in Edmonton? Um, my friend and I, we went to eat barbecue to celebrate. How about you? What, uh, what, what is something that you would love to do on that day? Uh, um, maybe have a uh, video chat with my family. We are going to Eyes of White! <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> It is already week four. Hopefully you have settled in your class and you are ready to look around to see what's going on beyond your classroom. This week, the University of Alberta is hosting the International Week from February 1st until February 7th. You can attend lectures, workshops, take part in trivia game and even join an art competition. The International Week will focus on sustainable development goals. Have you ever heard about them? The Sustainable Development Goals were adopted by the United Nations in 2015, hoping to achieve peace and prosperity around the world by 2030. They recognize that ending poverty and inequality can only happen if we protect the environment and build sustainable economy. If you attend any activities during the International Week, you will learn how you can make a difference and what the communities are doing to achieve the goals. If you visit a lecture or take part in any International Week activity, you can use it also for your SEC reflection. That's a win-win situation. At the English Language School, we are going to be very busy as well. On Monday, I am available from 1 to 2 for a drop-in session for anyone who has questions about how to improve their language. On Tuesday, we will host a guest speaker from Parks Canada. This presentation is always popular, so join in on Tuesday. If writing gives you a headache, join me on Wednesday and we will find a way to make that writing a bit more fun for you. Also, I would like to keep up the positive energy we have created in our conversation club. Last week, we had a full house with the volunteers and the eager students in both the morning and the afternoon session. Have anybody else? That is the, I think you might have a, you might have a dream as well. Yeah. Uh, so I would like to pay a visit uh, of the, it's called Dawson, Dawson Park, I think, uh, because I was searching some fishing area, then they gave me this Dawson Park, I think it's pretty near. How about Hamad? You've got a place in mind, please share with us. Yes, actually I would like to visit Bomb with my friends because it had a huge mountain, so we can enjoy skiing because I have never tried to ski on a mountain my whole life. Finally, if you miss all these fun opportunities to mingle, the Student Engagement Center online lesson is available for you. The theme for this week is our very own province, Alberta. And to make Simon a little bit more fun, I asked some volunteers to share with me what they would like to see in Alberta. Mark, what would you recommend for the students to see? Um, but if you're a little, little bit more adventurous, you can go to the Rocky Mountains and try to see them in, in person. Um, Jasper is the closest uh, Rocky Mountain Park. Uh, Banff is another beautiful location. But uh, our kids are small enough, they don't really sit well in the car. Long distances aren't good for car rides with the kids. So we like to go to um, Elk Island National Park, which is very close. It's only 40 minutes from Edmonton. And they offer all sorts of activities that are, um, that are educational and really active. You know, it's a great way to learn about the natural history of Alberta and see some wildlife and like bison, coyotes, deer, beavers. We, in the summertime, you see lots of beavers. That's really cool. And even muskrats. Yeah, yeah, muskrats. You can see them uh, in the sloughs and the, and the water and the lakes. Those are really cool. Um, 
And in the winter time, there's also activities like snowshoeing or winter hiking. We take our kids there um, maybe once or twice a, a winter for some, uh, you know, hiking, some hot chocolate, fire, uh, we have fire. And we've actually taken them out to the uh, Beaver Hills Dark Sky Preserve, which is a, a special place that has no light pollution from the city. So it's really dark. And when it's really dark, you're, and it's a clear sky, you can see some beautiful stars up in the sky. And if the conditions are correct, you can even see Aurora Borealis or the Northern Lights. And that's something that um, my son really liked. My daughter was sleeping, so she didn't see it. But uh, the night sky is a very beautiful place and it's uh, kind of magical and otherworldly. Uh, All right, everyone, keep your eyes open for our next outdoor adventure and have a great week. Stay connected. This was Simon Says. <laughs>